it's finally happening. <laughs> uh, initially, uh, when I was thinking about what I should share with you, I should start by saying, you see on the screen, my name is Justin Feeland, graduating this May. And, and when I was thinking about what I was going to share with you uh, this this morning, uh, I was initially going to try to come up with some kind of creative or interesting way to put it, but um, I really came back to the idea that um, pretty much all senior testimonies end up saying, and that is that God is faithful. Uh, that is the testimony of the scriptures. That is the testimony of the church throughout all the ages, and that is each one of our testimonies here. And that is a repeat, but it just goes to show you that God is the same God today as he has been for all of eternity and will be the same God for each one of you as you go through seminary as well. Stories of his faithfulness abound in my life. I can only give you a couple of snapshots, but um, for for example, when, before we came, we were soon to be married, my wife and I, and uh, we were more poor than we were now. <laughs> Uh, back then, I worked at Apple, and and I was desperately looking for an apartment because we knew we were going to come out here, and and I found a place. But they said, um, "I'll hold the the apartment for you, only if you can give me half of the housing deposit immediately." So I took all five hundred dollars that were in my account. I wrote a check, put it in an envelope, walked out to the mailbox, removed the mail that was in the mailbox, put them, and then mailed the envelope. On my way back to the house, there was an envelope with my name on it with guess how much money in it? $500. God is faithful. Our goal in seminary was also to graduate with no debt, which by God's grace is going to happen, but not according to our plan. We had actually thought about going and taking out a loan to finish up this semester because uh, in God's providence, I had to quit my job. And we were thinking about taking out a loan. And... um, God provided for us by, uh, when we flew home over Christmas, uh, we were provided the exact amount for the loan that we were going to take out uh, for the semester so that by his grace, we will have graduated debt free. And aside from that, God was also faithful to provide all of our other physical needs. We have never missed a meal. We have never missed a rent payment. We have never missed a tuition payment. We have been provided two and now three cars We have been provided an apartment and three jobs exactly when we needed it and so many other things that I don't have time to tell you about. Uh, He's also been faithful in in equipping me for the ministry that he has called me to. Uh, The education that we receive here at the Master's Seminary is unparalleled and amazing. The breadth and the depth of knowledge that we receive here and that we study here is absolutely amazing and is a testimony to the fact that God equips those whom he calls to his ministry. And I am always thankful for the classes and the professors and the curriculum and even, to some extent, the papers and the exams that we have to endure. He's also faithful in growing me spiritually, which is probably the most important curriculum of all. He has shown me um, how, what it means to be humbled. He has taught me that I am nowhere near as smart as I thought I was and nowhere near as good of a preacher as I thought I was and nowhere near as holy as I thought I was. But most of all, he showed me that he is the source of my life and my strength and that apart from him, I can do nothing. Many other examples can be recounted, but I think you get the point. God is faithful. So I'm going to end on a personal note, and there's just a few people that I want to thank. First, my grandparents, who daily encourage me with the scriptures by sending them to me in text messages and uh, by their prayers that I know that they pray for me every day. My parents, who introduced me to the Bible, to God, to Jesus Christ, and to the way of salvation from the very beginning of my life, so that I've never known, I've never not known who Jesus Christ was. And through their influence in my life, I came into the contact with the ministry of Dr. MacArthur, and that's a large part of the reason why I'm standing here right now. My uh, mother-in-law and father-in-law have also been a, an incredible blessing to us and an immeasurable 
blessing to us and my other family members, my brothers and sisters. Uh, well, my brother and sister have been a much needed source of comic relief at many points. Um, many of you I have to thank individually, some of whom I can see right now. You are an immeasurable influence in my life, and I will always be grateful for you. Uh, but beyond all that, and most of all, best for last, I need to thank my wife, Suzanne, who's sitting in the back uh, and turning bright red. <laughs> um, you are God's gift to me. You're my suitable helper. I cannot possibly express how important you are to me. I really have the best wife. I'm sorry, Tim. <laughs> but she is, she, she is really amazing. And uh, you're my greatest source of encouragement, comfort, prayers, solace, laughter, rest, a sounding board, uh, a listening ear. I love you. Uh, plans for the future. Uh, we're going back to Minnesota, which has been our prayer all along. That's an answered prayer uh, to serve at Beacon of Hope Church uh, in St. Paul. And uh, Lord willing, we'll do the work, the Lord's work there as long as he would have us. Grace and peace to you. Thanks.